Naruto, eight shonen criminal organizations the Akatsuki would lose to. The Akatsuki is made up of some of the most dangerous threats in Naruto, but they aren't ready to take on these other shonen criminal organizations. In Naruto, a rogue ninja is someone who abandons their village, and they usually commit some kind of heinous crime that makes them wanted throughout the ninja world. They might even join the Akatsuki. A group of 10s ranked rogue ninja from various villages who served as the main antagonists for the majority of the second half of the series. Each Akatsuki member brought a unique set of skills to the organization. And aside from Zetsu, they were all capable of either fighting or defeating Kage level ninja and tailed beasts. The anime industry is filled with shonen series that are aimed toward a young male audience. And many of these series feature criminal organizations of their own. The Akatsuki may be powerful, but there are certainly other shonen organizations who can take them on. 8. The Straw Hat Pirates possesses several Devil Fruit Hockey users One Piece. Luffy and his crew may be the protagonists of One Piece, but they're all wanted pirates, and they have been involved in many of the series' best fights. If the Straw Hats were to take on the Akatsuki, there is a good chance that Usopp, Nami, and Chopper would probably die. Zoro and Sanji are incredibly durable, and they both possess armament hockey which can deal massive damage. The Straw Hats also have several Devil Fruit users like Brook, who can only be killed if his entire skeleton is vaporized. Luffy's rubber powers and hockey make him a fast fighter capable of unleashing superpowered barges. And Robin can use her power to snap or immobilize every Akatsuki member. 7. The Noah family has several overpowered abilities. D. Greyman. The Noah family serves as the main antagonists of D. Greyman, and they are a group of 13 individuals who manage to awaken the Noah gene. This gene gives the family enhanced speed, strength, resistance, and reflexes but they also have powers that can easily overwhelm a group like the Akatsuki. Road can create a pocket dimension and suck anything around her into it. And she has complete control over this dimension. Taiki's ability allows him to completely ignore the laws of physics, while Wisely can use his demon eye to manipulate people's minds. Cheryl can use invisible strings to control an opponent's physical body, just like Sasori, and the Millennium Earl can consume souls and create an army of artificial demons. 6. The Paranormal Liberation Front's quirks would give the Akatsuki a lot of trouble My Hero Academia. If the Paranormal Liberation Front were to fight the Akatsuki, several members would undoubtedly die. Especially someone like Spinner who is basically just an oversized gecko using makeshift swords. Dobby is capable of creating extremely powerful blue flames that can turn anything to dust. And Himiko can transform into other people and use their abilities as long as she ingests their blood and understands how the abilities actually work. Twice can create thousands of clones of himself to overwhelm the organization. And Gigantomachia possesses several quirks which essentially makes him a colossal living tank. Tamura is the group's leader and he has the ability to disintegrate anything he touches. To the point that he can wipe out large portions of a city. 5. Night Raid is a group of assassins with powerful Taigu Akame G.A. Kill. Like the Straw Hats, the members of Night Raid are the heroes of their story, but they are considered criminals because they are a group of assassins helping to overthrow an evil empire. Even with their imperial arms, Shield and Chelsea would be taken out pretty quickly because one is too much of a close-range fighter, while the other isn't a fighter at all. Mine's imperial arm is a gun that uses spirit energy as ammunition. And at full power, it fires a massive beam that is capable of cutting through anything, perhaps even Itachi Susanoo. Lubbock controls wires that can be used to set traps and eviscerate opponents. While Tatsumi can summon living armor that slowly transforms him into a massive dragon. Akane is the biggest threat, as a single scratch from her sword will activate a death curse that cannot be cured. 
For, the Espada, are all spirits, with powerful Zanpakuto releases Bleach. The Espada were the ten strongest Arankar in Aizen's army, and aside from pain, none of the Akatsuki would be able to even hit an Espada because they're all technically ghosts who lack physical bodies. Each Espada is powerful, but their strength increases tenfold and they release their Zanpakutos. Sailor Grands can revive himself and create miniature voodoo dolls of his opponents. While Zamari Ruros can use his eyes to take control of an Akatsuki member's limbs or body. Yami becomes more powerful the angrier he gets, and Noitra's skin is so strong that no jutsu would harm him. Barrigan can literally take out the entire organization by himself since he can cause anything around him to age rapidly and decay. 3. The Blackbeard Pirates have some of the best devil fruits in one piece. The Blackbeard Pirates will likely be the final threat that the Straw Hats will have to face, and they are a truly formidable group. Blackbeard himself possesses the Tremor Tremor fruit, which allows him to create earthquakes on any surface, including the air. He also has the Dark Dark fruit, which would counter virtually every jutsu since it can absorb attacks like a black hole. His crew includes Katarina Devon, who can impersonate people and transform into a nine-tailed fox, as well as Shiryu, a master swordsman who can turn invisible. The crew also includes an enormous giant, an expert marksman, and an explosives expert. 2. The Ten Commandments are mostly demons with overpowered abilities Seven Deadly Sins. Several of the best fights in Seven Deadly Sins feature at least one of the Ten Commandments, who are all elite demons given unique powers by the Demon King. Most of these demons possess seven hearts, and until those hearts are destroyed, they are pretty much immortal beings with incredible regenerative capabilities. Greyroad's pacifism ability causes an enemy to rapidly age and die if they kill someone in his presence, while Esteros's love ability stops someone from dealing damage if they have hatred in their heart. Zeldris can turn anyone into his slave if they turn their back to him, and Galand can turn people to stone if they lie in his presence. 1. The Sternritter have abilities that overshadow even the Espada's Bleach. Many Bleach fans believe that the Sternritter ruined the series, but even those fans cannot deny how powerful the group is. There are 26 Sternritter in total, which already puts the Akatsuki at a numbers disadvantage, but these Quincy all have a special ability, and some of these abilities are very overpowered. Giselle Gawel can turn anyone into a mind-controlled zombie if they touch her blood, which means that she completely counters Haydn, while Hashwolf can turn someone's good fortune in battle into misfortune. Yuryu can transfer all of his damage to his opponent, and Gremi can literally bring anything in his imagination to life. Askin and Gerard cannot be killed by normal means, while Leal can use his rifle to pierce through any defense. Including Itachi Susanoo.